and welcome to Ask Me Anything MSM Style. I am your host, Muscle Sport Magazine publisher, Joe Piataro, and I'm, of course, showing the, the magazine cover to the live Instagram feed. You can get us every Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, live on Instagram, and of course, we also archive this on our Muscle Sport TV YouTube channel, and young David Cosgrove Ask me a question. Did I take any inspiration from Rich Piana? And if so, what kind? The answer is in the affirmative. I will say yes. And it was more of a business sense. I mean, I'm 50 years old. I don't really get inspired by athletes and things like that. Joey dyed his hair jet black the other week because of Rich Piana motivation. <laughs> Thanks, Mason. It's actually medium brown, and I'm in desperate need of some. Um, but I, I actually looked at Rich's business acumen and I did take a lot of things that he was doing and I tried to implement them into a magazine media outlet different from, um, you know, a supplement company and things like that. Hey, what's his work ethics? P. Kenny, you are right. Rich Piana was a genius when it came to business and I will give him so much fucking credit for the way he ran things with his company. I thought it was a great idea with that kind of street gang mentality and it's kind of rough with the loud rock music. Just for guineas, medium black, number seven. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Jay Mason, you're right again. Um, so I definitely, I love the look of the five percenters. I think I tried to capture some of that with the uh, NWO style shirts, the one that I'm sporting right now. Um, so yeah, I definitely, uh, Piana definitely influenced me in many ways uh, as far as how to portray my business and to do things a different way. Actually, I guess Rich Piana's influence on me was one of the things that Greg and I had a problem with, the whole t-shirt gate. <laughs> I mean, uh, we can laugh about it now because Greg and I kiss and made up and he's a wet kisser, thankfully. And um, so, but yeah, that the whole thing was I'm like, Pianist guys all wear the t-shirts and it's like constant fucking promotion of the company and that's what I got to do. It's it's product placement. I want to, every time I'm on camera or one of my guys is on camera, I want us to be wearing something that has Muscle Sport Mag on it. G-string panties, I saw Crystal on there. One is, on a, you know, one like that. Hey, Rasta, what's up? Papa Wheelie, 88. Papa Wheelie, oh, that's a cool fucking screen name, bro. Chris Baran joined. What's up, Chris? The hair is inspired by Paulie Walnuts and the shirt. I was watching some Sopranos fucking clips on uh, on YouTube one day over the weekend, and I was cracking up because she called me. I told my wife that one of my fucking buddies online calls me Paulie Walnuts because of the fucking gray on the sides. She laughed. I was close to signing with Five Percent. Well, you know what? Maybe you can still do that. Muscle sport. Maybe you can tattoo Muscle Sport Media across your chest. Oh, I already got Muscle Sport Mag on my arm. So maybe I'll do that. Or just write MSM on your ass. Where did I see? Oh, that's right. Crystal did that. Thank God she did. Hey, brother, greetings from Ireland. Mr. O just around the corner. Yes, it is. And I see Swole John has joined us. What's up, John? Swole John in the magazine. John, did you get your copy of this yet? Because I know I mailed them all out. Myself and the staff, my wife. <laughs> you didn't never saw that, Johnny? Yeah, I got that last year. I thought you can see it when I'm doing these fucking crazy shows. And there is Steven, the aspiring side five percenter. I hope your phone's working better than it was on Monday, bro. You were in and out on Monday. You did. And you saw yourself in it, I'm sure. And as well you should have because shit, man. How, how many guys fucking get in there fuck get in their fucking magazine. How many other people? I know MD used to do like the MD people and then uh, uh, Greg did the uh, 15 Minutes of Fame, which he actually hooked me up in it one time. Eddie, yes. Eddie. Eddie from Iron Maiden. Now that, come on. Who the fuck else is going to have the balls to do that? But your fucking friends here at MSM. I'm sure you won't regret that tattoo when you're older. Very subtle. Yes, sir. Hey, Shuey. Shuey is in the house. He is going to be part of our fucking bull bag fucking crew at the Olympia. Okay, let's see. What do you think of Rich Piana's fortune? Will it go to Sarah because they are married? I certainly hope not. I don't know. I Listen, I don't know what's going on. Mag came in today. Awesome demonics athlete. Hey, what's up, man? Yes, definitely. Hey, now that you mention it, 
Let's give them a little plug, shall we? We love Demonic. Dave Goys, Comerica, hooked me up with this guys, and they sent me some really fucking cool shirts. I love that they're fucking comfortable. Once I start wearing sleeves again, Jay Mason, I will be sporting a Demonic Athlete shirt on one of these programs. It's not FitX. What do you mean? I'm going to get a lot of information on the FitX, and I will pass it on to our guys that are going to be there and girls. Dave Goys is really cool. Hey, like the Fonz cool. Nobody's cooler than the Fonz. That's why they have the thumbs up sign there. But yes. So two questions on Rich Piana. Not surprised. I mean, you know, Piana McCarver, it's 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 a, a big a big fucking, you know, big problem in the bodybuilding community. We had a bad week last week. Have you seen Chanel's videos on Rich was from the, I did see Chanel's video yesterday before Dave and I went on. Uh, you sorted it out for FedEx. Yes, I, I will be, and, and I will speak to you about it. FedEx is September 15th. I, I hope it's not the 16th because I'm going home on the 16th. Be right back. I'm going to go, my people, trans plays it all. People Magazine. <laughs> um, I did see her video. Uh, I thought it was nice, and I thought it was a genuine video. Um, you know, I, I hope it, you know, people just don't, I hope the assholes don't comment. I didn't read the comments on it, but I hope people don't act like assholes and comment shit on it. Because that's totally not the place, and it's unnecessary. A bodybuilder from my country did a backflip and died. Lunjela was his name. Where are you from, Papa Wheelie? What country are you from? I did hear something about that. I think I saw a, 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 a Get Big. What horrifying country are you in? <laughs> Fucking Afghanistan? Uh, no, nothing. I haven't heard anything on South Africa. Oh, okay. I haven't heard anything like official reports coming out on Rich or Dallas McCall. I haven't heard any, you know, like new. <laughs> Fuck it, Mason. Apartheid is over, bro. You know, I if Sarah tries to get a clause and the Richards, she will get lynched. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as, uh, uh, you know, people will be pissed at her, but, hey, what's up, King the Gym? Matt's going to have some good, good shit coming up that he's going to break the news and we're going to help promote it and plug it and fucking pump it up for him because Matt is our fucking boy. How is the weapon in your pants today? Is it awake? Um, let me see. Hey, there it is. I had to really look tight and squint. It, it's sleeping right now. He is black. I am white. <laughs> okay. He was just fucking with you, Papa. I hope not because you know what, Shuey? That would be kind of sucky. But what is their status? I know Jerry Ward had said they got the marriage annulled. Somebody said that on Monday, I believe, on the show here, one of you guys. Because I didn't know. I, I, I don't recall. But if she is still have some kind of legal uh, marriage to him, if it's not totally annulled or, or divorce went through, I, I hate to fucking say it, but it's going to be a tough fucking battle in court. She's not going to just go away quietly. And I hope I'm wrong. You know, I, I don't, you know, I don't know her from fucking Adam. I, I've seen her at the Expos. I don't know shit. But uh, if she wants to fucking go down the legal route, if she still demisses on paper, unfortunately, that court has to fucking give that. <laughs> Show he's there, Ron. <laughs> Fucking amazing. I love you, you fuck. Are you going to the Olympia, amazing? Because if you are, I, I I will not leave your side. I'm sure the grease ball lawyer is jumping at the pit. <laughs> Caught what I miss. Hey, crazy. Mikey in the house. We're talking about if Sarah Piana is going to try to get some of Rich's fucking inheritance. Um, so, I mean, listen, I hope not. But, you know, we, I guess the, the, the time will tell. Rich Burt 6 7. What's up, Rich? Rich is a regular on these boards. He's always on this thing. Very quiet, though. I, I, I wish you would say some things, like tell me to go fuck myself. It would be funny. Think Rich would have a prenuptial? I don't know. Maybe he did. I don't. I, this is all, I'm just speculating, guys. I have no fucking idea about this. I can't go. I want to go to the fucking Arnold, though. I will be there also. I already booked my hotel room. Sarah deserves something. Like what? I don't know. What does she deserve? The, the, whatever was in that divorce settlement when they were trying to get divorced, if it didn't go through officially, that's all she's entitled to, in my opinion. 
when she wrote the word legally in all caps, it was a sign. I, yeah, I did, but my birthday tomorrow, Joel. Hey, fucking Shuey, happy almost birthday, my friend. Happy almost birthday. Hope Jerry Wall was right in there. No, me too, Mike. I hope, I hope that, I, maybe it was probably you that said that on Monday now, because I had said a few minutes ago. Sarah deserves a 50 cal. <laughs> A Gatling gun. She should get half. Uh, Calabra, I think that's a fake account. She used him. Sarah deserves nothing but dick in the mouth. <laughs> I don't know any of these, you know, I, I don't know any of these people personally, uh, but she obviously, they were split up for quite a while and, um, you know, but if she is still legally on paper married to him, she's going to fucking... Try to get something, probably. I don't blame her. You know, it's people are money hungry, guys. What's up, uh, Cosgrove? I saw Joe question mark, but I didn't see something that preceded that. Joe, that was me that quoted Jerry. Okay, good, Mike. Jerry's usually on the money, and he was very, very friendly and close with Rich. So if Jerry said that, I will probably have to say it's correct. What Big C and Steve 5%? What? I ain't saying she's a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no African Americans. <laughs> I'm behind Chanel. Hey, K. Well, Chanel was just his girlfriend, right? I mean, she they didn't get they didn't have a uh, what's that called partnership legal partners or whatever. Like when the gays first did that because they couldn't get married. Cosgrove, no shit tonight. <laughs> Cosgrove just wants to have fun, man. It doesn't. It's nothing personal. He just he, he's a chatty fellow, and that's good. We like chatty fellows, but I don't want to see anybody get mad. Kayla, what's up? Can't wait to see Big C in Vegas. Me too. I like Caleb. He's a good guy. He's my pal. We're friends. Boom, Vegas. Yeah, man. Yes, we're going to have a blast in Vegas. I have my video guy that I'm hiring. And thank you to Robert Ingle Jr. from Pumped Up Nutrition for hooking me up with that. Joe, what do I do when I win the fucking competition for the fifth time? What do I get? If you win as the top male, you get a, uh, a subscription to these for a year. And if you're next five, you get a T-shirt. Chanel Broad seems like a Karen. She'd hide. <laughs> she, wait, I got to see what Maze wrote. She'd hide the fucking gun and flush the coke, too. That was all we had. What was I supposed to do? They were everywhere. They would have found it. If you guys don't know Goodfellas, you're saying, what is Joe talking about? And what the fuck is Maze and typing? Chanel seems like she really loved Rich, though. Sarah barely got two words out of her then. Yep, yep. I don't know, bro. Joe, you leave... No, I leave on the 17th. You're right. I'm a... Crystal, I need somebody to slap me around. Because I'm a fucking mess. Robert's a good guy. I met him. Robert Engel Jr. is a fucking champ. Yep, he's going to be hanging out with us too. Any info on the FedEx? I will get every... Janice Rossi is nothing but a whore! You have a whore living in your building. Brink, brink. We used to play ring and run like that with the buildings on Bay Parkway in Brooklyn. Um, I will find out as much information as I can, and I shall relay it. Yes, you do. Please, thank you, Wildfire. I need someone to keep me in check. I, I'm, a, I'm a need to be kept in check type of guy. Keep me in check all weekend long in Vegas. Um, yes, but I will find out as much as I can. I'm trying to get a, uh, a Skype interview done with Jay Jong, and then I have to edit it and put it on the, the, the new episode, but I only have half a week next week. The website, it's just the city uh, the, the city uh, athletic club, but there's really nothing on there for it. So I, that's why I want to get Jay to get on, on, in, on uh, Skype so I can fucking interview him and say, Jay, tell us the hours, everything, the address, plug it, let's go. And I want to, because I'm going to be fucking, I want all you guys to come there with us because we're going to do, I got the video guy for two days, Friday and Saturday. So he's going to do videos with all of us. He's going to go with me to the FedEx. He's going to go with me to the uh, Expo, me and David Goys. We're going to have a handheld mic and shit. So am I going to interview you guys? Absolutely, fucking lutely should we? Yes, I I already spoke to Caleb. Oh, I'm going to have a, a, a obviously a nice, a good thing with you guys. So far, Crazy Hawk, I know it's September 15th, the City Athletic Club. Um, yeah, because the 16th, that's right. I'm, I'm fucking burnt. 16th's the night of their Super League thing, which me and Dave are going to go to as well. Um, but uh, I think Friday night alligator ball? What do you guys say? <laughs> oh, man, I wish I was there. I wish so too, Stephen. You look like a good guy. You remind me of somebody that I know from years ago. You have the, uh, very similar facial features, and he was a nice guy. 
and you look like a nice guy. Oh, for fuck's sakes, I need to go to Vegas with you scumbags. You do, amazing. But I'm telling you, Columbus, Ohio blows, but the Arnold's great. Be sure to interview the women. The woman, one woman, we have many women of MSM. I'm going to interview all of them. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. What's going, Joe? Hey, Rock S. What's up, Rock? Rock in the house. Crystal, that's a start. Steve is awesome. I will not be able to make it. Sorry, everyone. Not as sorry as I am, Matt. I wanted to fucking hang with you and have a beer with you. What's up, Rock S? Rock is a champ from the No Neck Cartel. Just got my mag. Love it. Very cool. Thank you, my friend. I'm glad you liked it. It seems that a lot of people are saying good things about this issue, so it makes me feel very, very satisfied. Sending you a pic soon. Please do. I want to put it. Hold the mag. And we'll put your fucking Instagram name and shit, just like you see the other guys in there. Iliad is going to be the SM, MSM bodyguard. We, we're we going to need him. I think we're going to get in a lot of trouble. We might need a big fucking monster fucking strong guy. Iron Maiden, of course. Yes, definitely, Rock. Maiden's my fucking favorite metal band. Rock, No Neck Cartel. He loves the No Neck Cartel. Yes, I am Maiden. I saw them in 1982 at Madison Square Garden the first time. Everyone support and follow Steve and Big C Green. Absolutely. Stevie Shoesmith and Big C Green support our fucking buddies, five percenters. New York Fit Barber, what's up, bro? Can we send in a second pull-up video if you do more pull-ups? Yes, I want to see your first one. I didn't get any videos yet. Listen, you f- Fuck faces. Send me those fucking videos because you're all going on Muscle Sport TV. Video yourself doing pull-ups. Even if you could do one, I don't give a fuck. They're all going on MSTV. We'll meet up at the next expo. Just let me know and I will be there. Columbus, Ohio. First weekend in March, Matt. That is the next big event. Yes, send me those. Even if you can't do one, try to do one. I'm still going to put you on this fucking YouTube shit. I so want to do that. I can't even do one right now. Well, you have a good excuse, bro. Your fucking arm was almost taken off by that car. <laughs> you got the chains and gags for Comerica's bed. Oh, man, I got the fucking 50 shades of fucking gay stuff. Also, I'm, I, I requested bed posts, put it that way. I'll get one in ASAP. Okay, send me as many as you want. Set up the Viking and eating contest for all I am in training. I only got 12 reps getting the heavy bulking. Oh, that's good. Send me the video, man. BC and the school us with the arm push. Put on pull-ups. <laughs> Remember Rocky was doing them? And Rocky 2, I believe that was. Big C, I bet you could. You got it. Inbox me and we will make it happen. Yes. On email. Email me, joe at musclesportmag.com. That video. Oh, Mr. Johnson is here. Mighty Joe Young. You call me Mighty Joe. I wish I was Mighty Joe Young. A Mighty Joe fucking old fart. Mighty Joe middle-aged. <laughs> fucking midlife crisis. Joe, I asked you about fucking five questions and you have patched me. You dick. What is your question, Cosgrove? That you're going to fucking win the contest? You're bringing the Anavar and T-Ball for FedEx. Anavar? Oh, it's too weak, bro. Fucking a, get A-bombs. Not that A, the other one. Middle-aged Joey Bananas. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Remember Mighty Joe Young, the movie with the big A? It was like a cheap knockoff of fucking King Kong. One more lap. Let me do a full lap. Love you. Remember that? F- f- Lou Ferrigno. One more rep to kill it. What's up, bro? What the fuck is up, one more rep? Anadrol all the way. Yes. Women need Anavar. That's true. They do. They do. I thought you meant for us, Mike. See, I'm, I'm fucking stunat sometimes. Diva Deaf Wellness. Welcome to the program. My favorite King 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 Kong movie was the Green Mile. <laughs> you cocksucker. You are a fucking maniac, bro. Oh, EPO. Mike with that EPO shit. He loves that EPO. He wants it. He wants a green mile. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ, Mason. You're a fucking nut. I loved it. <laughs> Look at that. See her? Oh, she's pretty. She's a Russian. She's a Russian girl. Letitia. Did you like the Letitia centerfold rock? And Joe Swole John? Hello, Ski. How are you doing? 
Hooger the Claws, that actor was really good. He died a few years ago. <laughs> oh, fuck. This show is fucking nuts. This is like no holds barred. It's like a fucking battle royal, this fucking show. Every fucking 30 seconds, a new wrestler comes down the ramp. <laughs> he banged Amarusa. Who's Amarosa? I used to have a friend named Mike Amarosa. He was the catcher on our fucking beer league softball team. Okay. This reminds me. I dislocated my right elbow and broke my arm, too, in a car accident a few years ago. Elbow dislocates easy, especially if you press. Can anyone recommend elbow strength? Man, that's tough when you dislocate that, man. I, I've had elbow surgeries and shit. Dislocations, fucking, I wouldn't want that. And I've had some fucking major reconstruction done. I love the Royal Rumble. So did I. I wear a fucking brace on my elbow, Steve. So if you have elbow pain, it doesn't do much, but it's better than just leaving it empty. Back to work on the project. It will be announced hopefully next Friday. Yes, and I will make sure you tag me, Matt Howard. Rustam can pin all the schmoes for sure. It fucking hurt awful. I'm sure it did, man. Like I said, I have elbow issues, and I, I wouldn't want to. Dislocation sounds worse than what the fuck I had. I had some bad shit going on. I can pin you all 20 years of being a nurse. Yes, please. I want to pull my pants down and get poked by you. <laughs> Not with a hypo, with something bigger. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. A brace is a good idea. I got one of those neoprene things, bro. Ever had visible abs? Yeah, on and off over my fucking life since I'm younger. Getting an enormous magazine tattoo is good for elbow pain. These jorts. Yes. Actually, it did help because it took more pain away from there. Crystal going to be giving trend injections. Yes, that sounds yummy. Just if Now, if we have trend cough, it's perfect because she's an RN and she could fucking perform first aid on us and give us mouth to mouth. <laughs> I heard that fucking clit to mouth resuscitations work better than trend cough. What's your thoughts on Jimmy Seville? I don't know who that is, David. Who is that? The embarrassment makes you forget it. <laughs> oh, picture me when I'm like in an old age home. Yeah, that used to be the magazine I used to do. I used to have this guy, Jay Mays, and he used to go on my live feeds and quote Goodfellas and fucking racial jokes, and we all laughed. You get trend, you get trend, everybody gets some trend. Imagine that. Imagine Oprah, that fat fuck, giving out fucking trend instead of cause. <laughs> oh, they don't know him, Cosgrove. Well, I, I don't know who is it. Is that some guy that's a European guy or something? You don't want to know who Jimmy Seville is. It sounds like a fucking character from Goodfellas or something. I don't know who it is, bro. Alligator bar with a shot of trend. Yes. I can't wait to just set up a tripod at the alligator bar with my GoPro and we're just going to sit there and bullshit and have fucking beers. Thoughts on Adele Ray misunderstood? Yeah, excellent. Johnny Bravo. I fucking love Johnny Bravo. His fucking... I wish I could hire him full time to do videos, like documentary kind of videos for us because he'd be way out of my fucking price range though. Um, he does fucking unbelievable stuff. That thing... With fucking Lenny and shit looks so I I couldn't believe it. I was laughing my balls off, but it just looks so fucking real. I I'm dying to do a show with Big Lenny. Actually, I was talking to Johnny Bravo last week about that, and we're trying to hook something up. I'm gonna I'm supposed to get Johnny Bravo on MSTV again. We're gonna talk about the the Delray Misfits documentary, and then we're gonna try to do something with Vegas. Where are we going Friday night in Vegas? That's a good question. I would say we should meet at the Alligator Bar and just see what happens. Um, you know, that's my suggestion, but I'm open for others. Senior. Now, what night is this senior frog G-string thing? Because I got to hook up the girls with the G-string and any guys that want to enter it. Maybe we'll get Comerica to fucking do it. <laughs> Since his ass is going to be fucking a gape all fucking weekend. Friday night jail, most likely. <laughs> Alligator bought us. I would say, because I want to give you guys the fucking panties and I'm going to hook up some of you pink shirt, uh, you know, people that want pink shirts. I'm going to hook my fucking pals up because I'm a good guy. I'm going to play Santa Claus. I'm taking a big hit that weekend, but I have to do it because it's going to be fucking awesome. We're going to get some amazing fucking footage. We're going to do uh, a live feeds from there. No idea where that is. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're a stripper. That's right. I'll give you one of the G-strings. 
I want a pink shirt. I will have them on the site after the Olympia. I'm I'm gonna you know I'm picking them up like the day before, so I'm not gonna have time to get the fucking uh, buy card thing. I wasn't paying attention while well. you said free shirts. No, I said free panties. I'm giving the girls free panties. I have Muscle Sport Mag black G-strings with the white logo like this color coordination. I'm going to hook up uh, uh, Comerica and fucking Mike have been asking me for the pink shirts for months. So I just, I have to hook them up. And Comerica works for us. So I got to hook him up anyway because he's going to be wearing it in his videos. And I got nice new shirts for myself and Comerica. Two two-sided shirts. V-neck that we're going to be walking around with. Joe, how's your week been? It was been very good, Dave. I went to my mommy and daddy's on Tuesday, and I brought pizza there. I had great pizza. I am taking credit for pushing. You deserve the credit, Mikey. It was for you. How do I buy an MSM shirt? Uh, MuscleSportMag.com slash store. And if you scroll to the bottom, John, of the website, at the bottom I have some like links, and one says store. I, I got to move it to the top. I just got to... The spacing isn't working out right. I got to fucking move shit around. But yeah, musclesportmag.com uh, slash store. And it's, it's they're 10 bucks with free shipping. United States, so you live in the US, so you're good. How much a month do you spend on food? I, bro, I got two kids at home and my daughter's home from fucking college now, so she's home. Do you have black MSM shirts? Yes, I have this kind. Uh, it, but the newer ones, it's, you'll see it on the site. It says media at Muscle Sport Media and then, and then over here too. Uh, you're in the UK, so I got to give – I do ship. I have to just see what the – you're going to have to just pay for the you know the shipping for that because I, I won't do free shipping there. I'll go broke if I do. I have to see what it is. I'm sure it's not um, – not a lot of money, you know. It's probably the magazine's uh, like 11, 12 bucks or something, so it's probably around, you know, about that, I'm guessing, but it's fatter. So, Greg is not going to Vegas. Give me the dollar, Steve, and I'll get you one. <laughs> Have you ever been independent male without kids? Yes, sir. I lived alone. Uh, I had my buddy was my roommate for a year, 91 to 92. Or 90 to 91, and then I moved, or 89, and then I moved by myself from 91, to, or 90, excuse me, to 95. I bought my, I got married and got moved out to the suburbs from the fucking ghetto, Brooklyn ghetto. But yes, I was an independent, had a new car, my own place, and I dropped a lot of fucking loads in that house. <laughs> If walls could talk, they would masturbate. Steve only lives 15 minutes. Oh, perfect. Yes, that's fine. Yeah, we can do save, let him save his fucking shipping. That's perfect. Let's get Kai Green drunk and interview him at the alligator bar. He would fucking probably make sense drunk. <laughs> you need a shirt that says, my muscle magazine can beat your muscle magazine. Yeah, but I'll get in trouble, though. <laughs> yeah. And then in 96, he got into witness protection and moved to Utah. Yes. Yes, Hulk Matt P. What's up, Hulk Matt? Matty P in a place to be watching AMA. Ask me anything. Come on, guys. Ask me anything you want. Let's talk about the Olympia. Let's talk about the Super League. Let's talk about um, uh, Jay Mays and Ortiz's fucking jokes. Kim to the T to the Gill to the Roy. What's up? She's a little, she a little blonde looking, sexy little blonde there. I'm going to wink to her now. <laughs> Kim to the Gill to the Roy. What's up, Kimmy Kim 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 Kim? Kim? Oh, yes. Marriage. Oh, it's the fucking downfall of mankind as we know it. BTH, where have you been, bro? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm glad you're back, bro. Matt is in San Diego too. Need to work out with him someday. Who, Matt Howard? He's in San Diego. I already have it in dollars because I've been buying U.S. currency for my visit to the USA in three in 11 weeks. Ain't you going out to the West Coast, though, I think you said, Stephen? You're going to be out out the left coast, if I, don't, if I remember correctly. Maybe you didn't say something and I just had a fucking dream. That would be pretty gay if I did. I'm dreaming about Stephen. Haha, <laughs> I'm getting married in Chicago in 11 weeks. So it was I did have a dream. Somebody said they were going, oh, no, that was Krista... Crystal, Kristen, from the, the gym. Kim looks like Christina Applegate, right, Joey? 
What's she like on the set? <laughs> Sorry, Stephen. Yes, thank Yes, don't do it. Don't do it, Stephen. Remember, you'll be begging for hand jobs a year into the fucking marriage. I did mention it before. Maybe that's a... But uh, the girl who runs Muscle Makers Gym in the UK, she, she subscribes to the magazine. She's coming to the US, but going into uh, LA only. So I did remember UK to the US. I just remembered the wrong person in the wrong state. <laughs> I'm begging. Yes, you are begging for a hand job. What is the equivalent of a hand job for a young lady? Like, does the husband have to diddle them, play the one string banjo? You know, the fucking bass guitar? I'm in San Diego like we talked, then get some Thea, got some good shit going. Yes, Thea is the fucking. That new picture of Thea, she looks fucking jacked and just fucking beautiful in it. She did a, uh, at the gym. She was saying the Marines were checking her out from behind in the gym. My last one was awful, got divorced only a year ago. Ah, sorry to hear that. True or false, I'm in step on stage shape. Step on stage shape for what? You look like the Brooklyn brawler. Remember him? That was fucking Steve. What the fuck was his name? I forget his real name. Lombardi. Steve Lombardi. The Brooklyn brawler. He had the cigar. That was a great get up. Um, uh, Cosgrove, step on stage but for what, man? I mean, physique, men's physique with the board shorts. Yeah, maybe. It's you don't really show a lot of you on the pictures. You cut off a lot, and all I see is like a, a little glimpse of it. So I'll give you men's physique, but because you're tall, slim, lean, nice, you know, you gotta look like you got a good V taper going, kid. You're a, you got the building blocks. I see Jason is three weeks out. He's excited about the ruby. Yes, Jason and Fat Fucking Lenny, otherwise known as Big Lenny, they're both doing the ruby. So that's going to be cool, man. Alexander Gerasimov Bodybuilding. Hey, what's up, Alexander? Welcome to the show. 5% boy, world is dope, Hawk. Joe, I'm seriously considering MSM tat. Dude, I think you're nuts, but I would be honored to shit. And of course you'd have your photo in the magazine. I'm all natural, Joe. It would have to be. Good. Good for you. You should be at that age, bro. In your 20s. Don't mess with the shit until you're fucking older and you need it to get fucking, to maintain an adequate erection. So girls, give me, give me the answer. What's the equivalent of a hand job? Do you get diddled? Or do they use like a dildo and fuck you with the dildo? Because <laughs> I can't understand how a wife who's obviously into her husband because when they have sex, they both come and she leaves a wet spot. And I'm just hypothetically speaking. Give your girl a little DEH to get her going. <laughs> yeah, I tried that. <laughs> that shit didn't do anything. I tried that. I'm putting the work in for life, my man. Okay, good, bro. But you're going to need, when you get older, it's good for your health. Not, not uh, for muscles. It's good for your heart health, actually. Because your, body, your heart doesn't fucking... Do -do 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 -do. Probably fingering, but I'm not a fan of it. Okay, so would you prefer a vibrator? Dildo kind of thing? Obviously, a blowjob you know, equivalent would be the cunnilingus, but I'm talking about just, oh, can you just get me? I can't understand how a, a, a wife could jerk her husband off or give him a blowjob and not get turned on. Even if she wasn't turned on before, now she's doing it. That's like if my wife goes, hey, I, I, I'm horny and you said you were tight. So I don't want to bother you to fuck me. So can you just play with my clit and finger me and I'll come that way and I'm laying there and I'm fucking licking her fucking nipples and I'm going ding da da ding da da ding 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 you know I'm playing the fucking old fucking rawhide fucking string banjo and and I'm doing that and then I don't get a hard on I'd have to be a fucking dick smoker then so how do they do that women please answer this question and I don't think any of the girls are on this fucking I might get turned on but I don't have to orgasm so if you just give him a headshot, you'll get turned on, but you're like, all right, now I'm good. I don't need to fucking <laughs> ride. Remember that show, bro? I love that fucking, I love Westerns. I hope your kids don't watch the show. If you, <laughs> They don't want anything to do with this fucking show, anything that I do. Uh, she jerks him off with the glove on like an animal house. <laughs> I seek to get to the USA for amateur championship, M NPC. Good, man. That's great. Fucking go for it, bro. I don't get blowjobs just ahead of my prick fire. <laughs> well, 
Well, I popped in at the right time. Caleb, we're talking about uh, the raw playing rawhide on a woman's clitoris. My girl needs me to choke and slightly slap her. I never got into that choking and 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 violent shit. Like I like to be like animalistic and snort when I'm fucking. Joey tells the kid he's a garbage man. <laughs> <laughs> waste management um, and but I never got into like that vicious thing I'm good with giving the blowjob but you don't get like alright now I want to fucking blow a load too I mean I, I don't know man anytime I get a hard on which is every fucking day thankfully thanks to TRT I wake up with a massive hard on and I'm like when can I get this to come I don't care for it but she loves it as long as she's not pressing charges, don't leave a mark. <laughs> I can only go so far. No choking. Ass smacking is fine. Oh, God. I just got movement from that. Kim T to the guilt to the Roy. <laughs> right, Joe. You have a bit of experience on your side. Did you ever stop? Well, hold on, Cosgrove. Did you ever stop to think that life is too short and draw and appreciate the time where you go and think about that stuff? I think about a lot of things, bro. But TRT is not going to end your life it's going to probably extend your life choking gives a woman a good muscle <laughs> let me tell you something i interviewed his name is oddly enough dr jeffrey life common spelling he remembers his first low job how long did it take the guy to come i'm good bro fucking under five minutes man it was probably three and a half and i fucking and i did not fucking move i took it all the way down the throat and then we shared a cigarette <laughs> okay oh, God. dr jeffrey life said to me when i interviewed him and he's a trt guy um what do you think is the biggest cause of death you know in older you know for in older people not you know younger people and i said heart and he said no falling on the ground and getting an injury from that fall and never recovering from it, like a broken hip, and then they just progressively get worse. And I could not believe that. I, I was like, wow. I'm not talking about steroids. I'm talking about the person you are in your head and you have still take life for granted. Bro, I don't, I don't take anything for I got kids, so I don't take anything for granted. And I, I don't want to die because I have two fucking kids. I want to see grandkids. Jeffrey Life, he was the buff guy from by. Yes, Johnny. Yes. The old guy with the glasses, and he had the fucking six-pack. I interviewed him. Fucking great guy. He sent me his books and shit. Dude, I don't take anything for granted, Cosgrove. I, I like to have fun. I like to live on the edge a little bit, but not crazy. I don't do anything stupid. When I was in my 20s, when I was single, I was a maniac. I was a total fucking out-to-lunch fucking nut. But I, I like to just, you know... I got a little pep in me, and it's good. I don't want to be a boring fuck. I, I'm in the media. I want to make money and fucking have people like you come and watch this good stuff. Has anyone think steroids are killers? Because the fucking media has demonized it. Has there ever been a time in your life where you took life for granted? I guess when we're younger, we all do, because you think that you're never going to die, and you're never going to crack the car up when you're driving fast, and you're never going to choke on your own vomit when you're drinking fucking doers like it was fucking water on a summer day <laughs> just a couple of things off the top of my head um you know jumping off of fucking high things and climbing high things i used to be a climber i have like a whole scrapbook of me climbing things in brooklyn heights i would climb the outside of the l train and go across the avenue and come down the other side <laughs> Your thoughts on doing tests before the age of 30 and 35. King of all four meteor. <laughs> hey, Robin, I invented it. Um, doing tests before the age of 30 and 35, obviously, if you're doing it for bodybuilding reasons, a lot of people are going to want to do it. You don't necessarily have to do it, Mikey, but yes, of course it's going to work. And anybody that says it's not going to work is a liar. Of course you're going to get more um, uh, muscle from it. But if... You want to have children with young Thea, and that will fuck up your sperm count big time. So I didn't fuck with, well, I fucked with the shit when I was a teenager, and then I took 20-something years off. So in between that time, I had my marriage and children. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of good to go now. But I would, be, I would be worried if you think about having kids, even if you're not thinking about it today, in the future, you got to be careful with that. That's true, Joe. As we age, we start to realize we are not immune to death. That's why when I'm helping people, I say this custom for your life. Yes, I agree. I agree, Stephen. I, I took life for granted, but not in a bad way. I, in a fun way. I wanted to have fun. I started TRT at 35, regular at 18. <laughs> 
I need to get a visa to the U.S. I'm from Russia. It's difficult for me to get a visa. It would be great if you invited me. I, dude, how, how can I? I don't have anything to do with that. I don't. I don't know anything about that. Sponsors and shit like that. There are plenty of people in Brighton Beach, Brooklyn, that would fucking sponsor you for a, for an envelope. <laughs> That's where the Russian mob fucking works out of. Um, I have no fucking. I don't. I don't know nothing about that, bro. I wish you the best. You know, you seem like a nice feller, but I don't. I can't take any, I can't take any more dependence on, I already got fucking two at home, a wife, and a whole nother story, right, Gil to the Roy? <laughs> Joe, did you take a big period of time of working out and eating healthy, so what was the longest? Take a time off of eating healthy and working out, I guess that's what you meant. I'm going to answer that in a second, King Dave. Uh, you've progressed through life. Your priorities change. It's brilliant. The parents care about their children first, but enjoy life. Yeah, you have to put your kids first, bro. I wouldn't even think twice about it. I mean, I already fucking lived 50 good years. Exactly. Right, Gil to the Roy? <laughs> Gil to the Roy, you get that. Um, um, I took off two years from working out. I don't know how to make a green card because I had sh uh, elbow surgeries. Here's one scar, and there's the other. Two open, full open surgeries. None of that scope shit. Um, so I couldn't work out for a couple of years, two or three years. But I, I tried to like, I did some cardio and I ate good. So I never blew off the eating good part of it. Um, but obviously I, you can't work out. It's going to, I mean, I, I looked like shit, man. I had a fucking gut and I had... Uh, because, you know, I was drinking beers and shit. And, uh, I, you know, I mean, I, I didn't go crazy with the cardio. Yeah, I had some... I, 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 my doctor told me, this was when I was 32, by the age of 50, you're going to need a plastic elbow. And um, I'm 50 and I don't need a plastic elbow. Long story, bro. It was numerous injuries. Uh, I, I don't want to get into the whole thing. You know, it was uh, old work-related stuff. But a uh, uh, number of injuries and it was... A lot of fucking, I, I basically, I had Tommy John surgery without transferring, uh, transplanting the new ligament. I had UCL, complete UCL fucking tear and shit. And um, it's the same surgery like Tommy John, but instead of putting the thing and making it longer, they just sewed it together after they cut the parts that were all ripped up. Why don't you want to get into the full thing? Because it's, it's, it's my thing, bro. I don't, I don't want to get into the full thing. Sounds heavy, man. Eh, it's fucking injured. People get into car wrecks and can't walk. I mean, that, the fuck? I can still tickle my balls with that hand when I jerk off. You know, so I'm good, you know? <laughs> and nothing is heavy because it's all good. You've been a bad boy. I'm never a bad boy. I'm a good boy. It's best to respect. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah, there are certain things that, you know, people do not talk about. And like I said, my previous fucking life before I became the king of fucking all bodybuilding media, my ass, fucking, it, there is no fucking king of bodybuilding media. This fucking thing's a shit show. He has a plastic elbow, but he's used as a martial <laughs> Heavy as in surgery. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. Thanks, bro. Yeah, listen. It's better than getting my dick cut off, <laughs> I tell you that. Yeah, it fucking hurt, man. I, you know, wait, when you have your arm in a sling for like 10 days and then they take it out. <clears throat> Everyone has a chapter they don't read out loud. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Gil, to the Roy. She gets it. When he first straightened that out after like 10 days of it being immobilized, that fucking hurt worse than the injuries. Joe, do you like Dave Palumbo on a personal level? I'm friends with Dave. I know Dave for quite a while. Yeah, so I, I would say yes to that question. Definitely, man, but I respect your privacy, too. Thank you, sir, and I respect yours. Where are you staying in Chicago? <laughs> I bet it did. Chicago is a great fucking town, Stephen. I love Chicago. Kim, I have three books. <laughs> Scars are hot. I got another one. All right. <laughs> just kidding. I do have a couple of other ones, but those are my real scars. The other ones are just like bullshit ones. Thank you, Gil to the Roy. Scars are hot. Hot. How about like stretch marks on a fat guy? Is that hot? <laughs> I had two open surgeries. What for, young David? I hope they weren't anything bad. Well, lobotomy, and what was the second one? Saying <laughs> the 13th at the Wyndham Riverfront. You should take in a game at Soldier Field, bro. It's a fucking great place to watch a game. Anyone know what companies and athletes are going to be the FedEx other than 5%? 
Uh, the Baileys open heart. No, you didn't, bro. Come on. Don't even say that in jest. I hope you're joking. Um, the uh, Rob and Dana Lynn Bailey. I find her very hot. Gout is sexy. <laughs> Who thinks Dana Lynn Bailey is hot? You guys all know you do. She and, and she's very cute in person too. I mean, she's just. I love the face. I love everything. I think the whole package is hot. And I, I respect the fact she didn't want to have uh, uh, fake titties. Joe, you don't believe me. Because I don't want to believe you, Cosgrove. I don't want to think that a guy like you, a young man in great shape, has heart issues because I want you to live forever. Gout is sexy. I've had two open heart surgeries, I swear, on my daughter's life. Okay. I just, you know, listen, I, I was hoping you were fucking around because that's serious shit. Well, apparently you seem to come through okay on them. So I guess how many years back were they, my friend? You know? If they were a while ago and you're still, you know, then you're doing all right. Thea finds Bailey hot, all that man. Oh, my God. May, uh, crazy Hawk. I'm, I'm getting movement just thinking about that. <laughs> I know you don't mean Rob Bailey, because if you do, then eh, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> uh, Shannon Courtney just got fake boobs. Who's Shannon Courtney? I'm, I'm fucking so burnt. Crystal, I apologize. I've been so burnt lately. Dana is hot, but I jump out of the fucking window three seconds after I blew my load. Why? Because she'll think she's going to kick your ass or something, Jose? <laughs> Doing anything fun this weekend. You know what? I don't have anything planned on this great Labor Day weekend. I'm driving with moving my daughter back to college on Sunday. I think I should get to the competition in the U.S. I am trying very hard. I'm interested in seeing bodybuilding in the U.S.A. It's a shit show, bro. <laughs> it's not going to be anything. <laughs> You're going to probably be disappointed when you do. I had one when I was born. Wow. Hole in my heart. Twisted arteries. I had to get another operation when I was three for this. Oh, boy. Oh, fucking goddamn, bro. I don't take. You shouldn't then. Young, blonde, IFB pro, female bodybuilder. Oh, okay. A bodybuilder? I have to look her up. I like bodybuilders and i like blondes and i like tits dave that is fucking very sad to hear that i have are you shitting me gil to the roy wow i hope everybody's okay i mean i'm serious i'm all fucking around aside i know i fuck around a lot but um you know obviously in this case i am totally serious imagine having to listen to her hopes and goals on. oh okay you're like a nice negative broad nope so you're saying they're not okay, Gil to the Roy? I hope I'm reading that wrong, Gil. I don't want to hear that. You got beautiful family. I saw your pictures on your Instagram. You have fucking a fucking full house there. But Joe, I don't give a fuck and get on my life and try to stay healthy. Good for you, David. My kids. Okay, good, Kim. I got you. Got me scared there for a minute, Gil to the Roy. Her son plays high school football like mine. But my son's injured, so he's just on the sideline now. And he's like the fucking water boy at practice. And he's so fucking pissed, but he can't play because his back is all fucked up with disc issues. And her kid's a quarterback. He's the captain quarterback. Sorry. Why are you sorry? I'm sorry. I read it wrong. I got fucking, you know, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I always fucking say stupid shit. I can't say stupid shit about that. You want to know about me? I also have a disabled daughter. God damn, Cosgrove. I'm feeling bad for you now. I always wanted to fuck with you. Now I feel stupid for fucking with your kid. I'm not going to ask you what kind of disability because it's none of my business. But, man, I, I hope fucking did my son ever score four touchdowns. No, but I did. Broke my leg in high school football. <laughs> It's a tough sport, man. When is everyone getting to Vegas? I get there Monday, September 11th. I get there on Thursday at 1.30 I land. I'm writing my book with Dealing with Life Challenges Process Program to apply to lots of things we deal with in life. Should have it done by March. I want to give it back. I want to promote it for you then, Stephen Aspiring 5 Percenter. You send me the Amazon link or whatever it is, and I will pump it up for you. We get there Friday, Crystal. You getting there Friday, Mike? Well, you getting there early, right? Because you're driving there? Typo errors. That's fine. I learned how to read fucking, uh, uh, what's that, uh, correcto, autocorrect. My daughter has a diagnosis of CKLD5, remember that, and look it up. I don't know what that is, man, but I fucking, am I serious, Stephen? Of course I'm serious, bro. You're a fucking, you're here promoting me and fucking giving me a view and you're a supportive fucking fella. You know, I'm not going to fucking return the favor. I'm not, I, I'm very different from what you're going to meet in this industry. And I'm not trying to fucking... Give myself fucking pats on the back. It's just the fucking truth, bro. 
people fuck each other in the ass all the time in this industry and not for fucking sexual purposes. <laughs> Like me and Kamarika are going to be doing all weekend at the Olympia. <laughs> no, thank you, bro. You're always here. That's why I like to tag you because I know you come in. If is it true your dick stop working if you get off test if you use one, Mike? If you use test, at, you're younger than me, obviously. And if, so, if you use test, acid reflux and athlete's foot. <laughs> <laughs> you've been awesome you never first tuned in yes and you've been a fucking steady customer and that's why I repay you back bro um, uh, if you use test but you're uh, uh, under that I don't feel sorry for me you don't want to show that with anything. no I'm not you're not I, I, I'm not I'm not taking it as that I think you're a fucking true dude man that's why I like you and I fuck with you but I have fun with you you know I like you when I fuck with you bro it's real deal always respond to me come here Yes, Barbara, I always do that, man, because fucking uh, you asked me some questions that I, I, I have kind of answers for, and I'm glad I do have them. You got it, Stephen. Um, the test question by Mikey. If you're younger, where you're going to still get your regular test, like below 35, it may take a little time, but you'll get it back. <laughs> And this is like the sad show. It's like fucking ask me anything that's going to make me try not to cry. Jesus Christ. Um, let's get back to the fucking clit talk. Um, so if you take stuff like that, have you faced adversity and pushed through? Yes, I've, we've all faced adversity, bro. Sammy the Bull, no, Jimmy the Bull stole his nickname. <laughs> yes, but Jimmy the Bull kicked Sammy's ass. Um, you'll get it back. It may take some time. Living a jack life. Yeah, that was the Greg came up with that. Brooklyn's fine. You were on our thing way early. I remember you now, motherfucker, because Brooklyn. Um, uh, but it'll come back. You just got to do some fucking PCT and shit like that. But if you're like uh, in my shoes and you're on TRT and you get your uh, thing back, yes, sir. Thank you, Brooklyn. I'm glad to see you back, bro. If I don't follow you, DM me and I shall. I believe I did, though, at back then. And if I don't, I will. Um, if, if, if I stop taking TRT, my test levels won't come back because they, there's no natural testosterone production to push them over that limit. Don't get twisted. I still would slap the shit out of the <laughs> You leave Dallas alone. That fucking Quarles is a good dude. Got you, my brother. Thank you, bro. But see that – so you, you may go a little lower after you get off – but if you go on PCT, it'll 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 get back up. But if after you hit that certain age, it's gonna take a long time to even get back to that lower level that you started at before you TRT'd. You may not even see that 180 or whatever. And if let's say you did that to get up to the closer to your thousand, you want to be thousand. Crisp cusp, what's up? Cusp the crisp kind. Dallas is the man. Yes, he's also Ronin on YouTube. Ronin. So after my test. Anthonate, do I need to take anything else? Well, I don't remember how old you. Joe, have you spoke to Greg? We exchanged emails earlier this week, yes, and watching his new videos. Yes, I've watched all. I, I always I told you guys I'm not going to stop watching Greg just because he doesn't work with us, but he's going to be working with us again, but I do watch his videos. All the, I hate giving MD clicks, but I have to support Greg. What's up, yo-yo? I'm 36. Okay, so if you stop taking it, your levels will go back down. But if you try to diet right and work out, you might maintain something close to that 200 mark. Can you still get bigger at 50 years old trying to move up to light heavyweight? You can get bigger, but you're going to have to eat a lot and take fucking TRT. It's very hard to put on fucking size when you're 50 without using shit. I'm just being honest. Or you're going to get heavy and you don't want to get, I'm sure you don't want to fucking put on bad weight. Do you think his last video looked a bit like acted? Now you're talking about MD uh, Ramblin' Freak Live number two where he's showing the um, uh, uh, Generation I and stuff. If you mean that one, no, I don't think so. I mean, he was showing a lot of old clips and, and just talking in between them. Uh, and he's talking about piano and stuff. So no, if that's the one you mean, then I, I say no. I've only been in for a month so far on dieting and training daily. Good. Thank you. I wish I could give you a better answer, bro, but I can't, I can't fucking, uh, you know, I, I, I can't, I don't know how to fucking sponsor people. I, you know, I'm, I'm just a fucking, I'm just a regular fucking jerk off over here. Vince McMahon, Natty. No. He looks good, though. I haven't watched wrestling in a while, but I remember years ago I watched it. He looked good. Low dose of HGA, two IU a day. Whilst on, I love that word, whilst on a bulk cycle to minimize fat gains, worth it or not. It's a lot of money, bro. I'm not a big GH guy. 
I think it's it's a lot of money. And if you're getting Chinese GH, you can pretty much say half of that dosage, um, uh, you know, it, it, it's 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 half of what it says it is because it's fucking stepped on a thousand times over. When do you think the male reaches his peak for training and muscle building natural? 18. 18. Sexual peak and uh, working out. I would say 18 to 21 because everybody's different, obviously. Whilst an, arist an aristocrat over here. HGH is a slippery slope. I personally not a big HGH fan because of the expensive part of it. Um, and uh, it's hard to really get quality shit without spending $1,000 a month. And that's a lot of money, man. If you have an indispensable income, then fuck it. Then go for it. But, I, you know, I... I know I started, my GH was very small. It was less than, a, two IU is a, is a decent amount. I was doing a half an IU and I, and I would go up increments. I would pyramid. What's the best stuff to take to get shredded before stepping on stage? Uh, Winstrol is very good. When does the muscle building and easy gaining stop? 20s to 30s. Probably uh, between 30 and 35. That's my uh, personal feeling on that. SARMs are going to be the next big thing. Yes, I agree. Natural, though. Yes. GH isn't worth the money. Yes, Crystal. We see eye to eye. Eye to brown eye on that. <laughs> Did HGH in the army, but that was good stuff, but it won't touch it now. Well, you probably got it overseas somewhere, not in China. Two minutes remaining. Fellas, listen. Monday is a holiday, so I'm going to be doing Muscle Sport Radio on Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I will post so you'll see remind the post and I'll tag uh, you know my regular guys in there. I got to try to remember some of these other guys so I can tag them too. These guys that join in on this feed, if I don't follow you, please DM me. Send a DM. I want to follow you so then I can use to tag you guys. Crystal, obviously you take steroids. What's your worst side effect? That's a good question. Say black, tag me. Yes, DM me, Brooklyn's Finest. Please DM me because... As soon as I get off this thing, I got to start rendering this video and I forget to start touching base with you guys. So I need to be reminded because I am a stunata. Later, MSM, you prefer SARMs other than tests. I've never really used SARMs, so I can't really say for sure, but I'm hearing a lot of good things about it. Yes, I'll ask her. We'll find out. Worst side effect, the voice. I like her voice. I think Crystal's got a nice voice. Johnny fit over 50 with the fucking guinea flags. Thanks, bro. You have a great day as well, Mr. Johnny. Gil to the Roy, boy. I'm sorry to hear that about your children, even though you said they're okay. It's just like, oh, fuck. As a fellow parent, I, I cannot imagine what that was like when you heard that news in the hospital. I must have really been a fucking kick in the fucking groin. Um, but yeah, guys, Tuesday and then Wednesday and Thursday. So it'll be three days in a row. Fuck, man. I got like work cut out for me. Three days in a row, one hour. Okay, Joe, pal, you're a wee prick. Thank you, David. You didn't give me any stories growing up in your city. You cunt! That means I have to give you more next time. What's the best site to get SARMs? Anyone know how? Don't want to get ripped off. I don't know. Somebody else out here probably give you a better answer than me since I don't really know about them. I like, uh, go, go to full disclosure, nutrition, newyourny.com. I think Kirk has some SARMs on there. 